Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, in this video, we are continuing our Laravel Vue.js Vuex series. Where now, guys, in this video, we'll be learning how to delete the data from our database using Vuex in Laravel. So guys, let's get started. So now let's move to our editor. Okay, so let's go to our table, student table component, and here is the button, guys. So this is our delete button. So which is visible over here. Yep, and now guys, let's change this function name. So delete data we will keep. Okay, so let's copy this function name and go below in our methods. So let's paste that, open and close. Where inside this you are getting the index value also and your row also. So this row means your table data you will get. All set. So let's use confirm and delete guys over here. Let me use confirm function. If you want, you can use your sweet alert also in this way. But for right being, we are going to use this. So are you sure you want to delete this data? Okay. So if you tell yes, obviously we are going to delete the data by using our view X dollar store store dot dispatch function where inside this you are going to write the code delete student your function where you are going to pass the id inside this so id colon this dot id so, okay so we don't have this dot id instead we are going to get the from that or delete button you're going to get the row dot id that table id you will get it and then you're going to delete it so once deleted what we are going to do will fetch the data i mean refresh the data so you can either refresh or call back the same function get students so let's copy and paste once it's deleted you will show this function reload the table let's save and yep guys let's copy this function and let's move to dispatch so dispatch is nothing but it goes to your actions which calls the function from there so let's paste here and let's copy this so we can save the time okay let's paste delete function and from this you are going to create a url delete student with the id and then you're going to just send url because we we are not sending any data so no value and now once deleted you can show it is success and the message you will get from the response is deleted successfully so once it's done let me just comment this line because we don't want to refresh it will automatically reload the page okay i mean reload the table data so we don't have to refresh all save now guys let's copy this path and create a route so yep route colon colon we'll use delete function okay so if you want to use delete function make sure you are adding your axios route as delete okay so inside your student we are going to use delete where we will use this delete in your route and then get started with creating a route guys where forward slash we are going to get the id and then move to your controller so let me just copy from above the controller name which will be delete all set so let's move to student controller let's go move to last public function with the name delete function where inside this you are going to get the dollar student is equal to your student colon colon find with the id which we have sent in the route so same way you are going to get that dollar id and use the delete function to delete the data 
so once deleted you can show the message let's copy and show the message where you will tell student deleted successfully and this will be a 200 status so now guys let's save and let's see okay refresh and yep guys so let's delete this data are you sure yes okay student deleted successfully the message we did not change over there and the row is also not deleted let's refresh and check guys so the data is deleted guys but it not, did not refresh or reload the table so you have to use something else so let's set that so before setting that uh, let's go to our action.js and change this updating to deleting student so this is our loader so when we click on delete it will show deleting student and after the success i want to okay so now let's take this so just control x and now guys you need to create one function so let's tell that this dot fetch student data okay so this will be the function and where you will create this function over here inside your methods itself fetch student data function and call that dispatch again inside this so instead of set student why make it as like all so it will be useful for every module so let's send this so fetch all data over here and it will call this function and then execute the output let's save this guys and yep let's refresh once let's add one dummy data guys first okay so is the is the some section at g.c save saving student done let's go back let me add one more data okay so some random so done at gmail.com let's save all set so guys now i'm going to delete this center data that is id 7 and then it should lo automatically load without the page reload okay so now let us click on id number 7 to delete the data delete deleting student deleted and here is your data guys so whatever it just loaded automatically without the page reload so guys this is how we delete the data in laravel vuex with vuejs okay so guys in this video that's it we have successfully completed how to delete the data and now guys let's continue next video about the search option so how to work on with this search the data okay so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share